An M unit determines how large something is relative to its parent container's font size. For instance, by default, most HTML tags start off with a font size of 16 pixels. Using an M unit, we can say that 1M is equal to a parent div's default of 16 pixels. So if we were to set a paragraph tag that is nested within a parent div to have a font size of 1.25M, we'd be changing the paragraph tag's font size from 16 to 20 pixels, since the 16 pixels of the parent div times 1.25M is going to be equal to 20. If we were to change the parent div's font size to be 20 pixels instead of 16, well then the paragraph tag with a font size of 1.25M would be 20 times 1.25, which would be equal to 25 pixels. Wow. M units are used if you want your text to always be relative to a parent tag. If you have multiple elements inside of a div where some are smaller than others, yet you want to maintain the ratio of their font sizes, it makes sense to use a set pixel size on the parent, then use an M unit for sizing the children. However, it is very rare that I'll use M units. Since parent divs can have different sizes, throwing off the overall consistency with text sizes on the rest of your site. As a result, in my opinion, it's better to use what's known as a rem unit instead. A rem unit determines the size of something based off your site's root tag, which in almost every case is going to be your HTML tag. By using a rem unit, you can be sure that your text sizes will be consistent across your site, since they'll always be multiplied by whatever your root element's default font size is, which is 16 pixels, unless you change it manually. By using a rem unit, you can determine at a later point in time whether or not you'd like to make all your text larger or smaller, since all of the text tag sizing will be dependent off of that one root element. Rem units can also be used for spacing properties like margin and padding, since those two will be relative to the root HTML element's default font size. This brings Tailwind CSS's spacing system into play. Tailwind has created its own rem spacing scale which can be applied to font sizes, margin, padding, and more. You'll see on the left here we have name values which we can use for classes. So if we were to use a class of mt-4, we would be applying a CSS property of margin top 1 rem, which would equate to 16 pixels given that our root element has a font size of 16 pixels. The scale here may seem arbitrary, but it increases in standard increments enough to visibly tell the difference between each rem value. So it creates a consistent scale we can use across the board for all of our site spacing and font sizes. Using the scale chart will be helpful to start, but once you start getting the hang of the tailwind spacing system, you'll be able to ignore this chart altogether and add spacing classes off the top of your head.